Dean Blanchard here. Today I'm talking about the kick of the gun, how to reduce it for those people that are recoil sensitive. Now, the products that I'm going to be talking about, I am not endorsed or sponsored by any of them. It's an honest review to help you shoot better and level up your game. Let's get going. Recoil sensitivity. Now, the, those that know me know that I had a lot of issues with my shoulder. I couldn't shoot more than two boxes before my shoulder really started hurting. So it made it really difficult to make it through a round of sporting. Made it tough to, to practice. Now, when I was having those issues and trying to work them out, different things that I noticed that really worked and some things that didn't really not work, that didn't work at all for me for shoulder. One thing that I did do was started practicing a lot with 28 gauge and that helped, but my shoulder kept deteriorating and I got to the point that I could tell the difference on recoil between a 1200 foot per second 28 gauge and 1300 foot per second 28 gauge. So that's, that's a big deal. My, my friend Josh helped me fix this up so I don't have those shoulder issues anymore. Now, let's start off with inexpensive to help fix your shoulder on what I found really worked. And we'll get to the more expensive by the end. I'm gonna keep it simple. Now, first things first is we wanna make sure the gun somewhat fits. The, if, if the gun's barely spinning on my shoulder and the gun's coming up like that, I'm gonna feel more recoil. So the more flat it is against my shoulder, the, the less recoil you'll feel. Because if a gun doesn't fit you at all, it's just gonna knock you around. All right, that, that's one really important thing, the gun fits well. Now, the other thing is, to starting off with cheap, speed of the shell. Slower the speed, the less felt recoil you're going to get. The less it's going to really kick you. Lighter weight. So dropping from ounce and an eighth to one ounce. There you go. That helps reduce recoil. And, and that under 1,200 foot per second, Winchester F shells, BMP, Fiocchi, there's a number of them out there. That going to one ounce, 1,200 or slower, that will reduce recoil. Okay, so that's the first part. Second part is Limb Saver Air Tech recoil pads. These are super soft. I have found these to be highly effective on reducing recoil. This is a one that was molded to fit the Beretta 391. You go on the Limb Saver website, look up your make and model. They can sell one that's somewhat close and we should line up with the screw holes. It's two Phillips head screws. It's not that difficult. I'm removing the old pad, putting the new pad on, a little Vaseline around, around the screw holes right here. Helps keep from tearing it up. That's another alternative uh, to reduce recoil is the, the pad. The slip-on pad, I don't like, it moves around. The one that's designed for the gun would be my preference on that. And if you're shooting over and under, that's the way I would go first. If it's the recoil starting to bother you, spend the 40 bucks, 50 bucks for that. Go slower in shells, lower weight. If you're still having problems and the gun fits you on a over and under, you can look at something like this. This needs to be done by a gunsmith because they have to drill out the inside of your stock to make this fit because this part would fit, but these two pistons would not. Now, the way this works, just kind of pulling it out, just to show you so you can see it, is that when you shoot, it collapses and then it goes back. And this has got hydraulic fluid in it. So it's like a shock on your car. Now the gun slides back. Some people have issues with that, you know, especially in really humid uh, areas. If you have a light touch on the gun, it's not, a, it, it's not so bad. If you really dig into the gun, you might run into the problems with it sliding in your face. 
some people put different things on their face, talcum powder, whatever, um, to help it slide better. Beard also helps with that. So that's another issue. That's, so this, these are four or 500 bucks, maybe more, maybe less, depending on upon uh, where you go. The Graco makes a good one. There's a guy, Mark Davis, he has, um, he makes some stuff. So shop around, there's a number of brands out there. I'm not recommending any, any particular brand. I'm not sponsored. Now, from there, if you wanna stay with an over and under, there are a number of over and unders that kick less. My Zoli, it, it, it's the barrel sit a little lower, the, the force and cone length, the way the gun's designed is a lighter recoiling over and under. The Beretta DT-11, another great gun, light on the recoil. There's a number of guns out there. They are more expensive. I have found um, that the less expensive guns seem to kick harder and the weight of the gun makes a difference. If you're shooting a really lightweight over and under, you could add some weight to the gun. That would also help reduce recoil since it takes more energy to move a heavier object. With that, you there's stuff that can go into the stock. And if you're really handy and you're really careful, you might be able to add a little bit of lead to the forearm. You have to be careful with that. If you go too deep, you could ruin your forearm and have a hole in the side of it. So that would be somebody who's really good with working with wood, have them help you with that if needed, but then you can put lead or different weight into the stock. You can make the gun heavier. That would be another way to reduce weight. So really expensive for over and unders is some of these higher end guns. The DT-11, the Zoli, uh, Parazzi's seem to not kick so bad. The, uh, so there's a number of guns there, but you're spending quite a bit of money to get that. A less expensive gun option, if you're not opposed to shooting a gas-operated gun, the Berettas, I love the four, new 400s, I don't own one. They are a great, lightweight, recoiling gun. You can get them with the kickoff system, which is built into the stock, where it compresses the stock a little bit. They reduce weight recoil even more. So with the gas, which is a dirtier system than like the inertia drive, these work really, really well. They, uh, especially the A400s, and you can get the Limb Saver AirTech to fit it. So with the kickoff system, I don't know if Limb Saver manufactures one that will go on to that Beretta A400, but that would be something you can research with them. Now, so that is some great ideas for you with the kickoff system, with the semi reducing speed, you can get 12 gauge rounds to feel really, really light and to shoot those. Hopefully this will help you with your recoil issues. Have a great day.